How can you go from lazy fat to lazy fit? In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that many people don't discuss, but I'm often asked about, especially by people who don't work out at all or not regularly. They wonder, how can I keep doing this for so long, why I don't get bored, how much I train and so on. That's why I wanted to share a pattern or roadmap that is partly my own experience and also something that I've seen in many of my students and other athletes throughout my career so you know what to expect. I use the terms lazy fat and lazy fit on purpose because they partly reveal the point. As a lazy fat or skinny or skinny fat person you will likely start with difficulty and do just a few workouts a week. However, going through the following process you can still be lazy with minimal training but have your physique, health and confidence top notch. Looking at the bigger picture, the entire training process or roadmap can be divided into three main phases if you follow the path that I and some of my students have taken. The first phase is when you start to train. This is the stage of overcoming laziness, forming a habit and achieving initial success. This is the hardest part. You need to break out from inactivity. Yes, you might have a lot of work, have a family, go to school, have a lot to study, etc. We all know how it is. But you must take time for yourself if you want to live a quality life and be healthy. Exercise contributes significantly to this, both physically and mentally. I don't think I need to talk much about this, as everyone knows they should exercise and those who have started and done it consistently with a good coach and guidance have no regrets. The funny thing is that you don't need a huge commitment as training 2-3 times a week for an hour is enough for progress. In this phase, once you've overcome the fact that you need to dedicate 2-3 sessions a week to look better and feel good, this habit quickly forms and the initial successes come. Being a beginner or restarting is the best. You can go through a drastic change in a few months if you pay minimal attention to what you do and make small changes in your daily life. Personally, I achieved all the skills I know to this day with three sessions a week and I had many students who also trained only three times a week and continue to do so. It's interesting that many people are completely satisfied with this, which I think is a great and sustainable path. Actually, we don't really need more than this and you can still get into perfect shape. The lesson so far is that you just have to start. From there, if you get started and get good guidance, progress is inevitable and then you might find that you don't even need more. However, from my experience, for many people, the story doesn't end here. Once you get a taste for progress, you become obsessed, want more, and that's when you enter the second phase. The second phase is the truly enthusiastic, ambitious stage where you already achieved a lot, learned to train well, master the basics, and even a bit more, and you are still crave more. In this case, you'll want to do so much that you realize it won't fit into just two, three sessions a week. You will try though, and you will find yourself training for two, three hours on your workout days. And eventually, you'll decide to split your plan. What started as two, three sessions a week will become four, then five, then six, leaving Sunday as a rest day, because of course, you'll need one rest day. I often mention that at this stage, people firmly establish what they achieved and then in the third phase, they just need to maintain it and can afford a bit more laziness. Personally, I took my strength and physique to the next level here, split my workouts and gradually increased my training sessions from three to six per week. This is when I could focus more on weighted exercises, build a bit more muscle while maintaining the skills I learned. You will probably discover that you organize all your desired skills effectively across your four, six sessions allowing for more focus on each one. This approach helps you enhance performance and strength gradually, leading to the steady accomplishment of your goals. Once you achieved all this, in the third phase, you will probably realize that it was all very exciting, but now you might not have many new challenges or specific goals and you will work on maintaining everything you achieved. You will likely focus on longevity and maintenance, enjoying the skills and exercises you've mastered. This. I think is a beautiful part of the process and it's similar to when someone reaches a comfortable point in their life and can relax a bit. That's what will happen here. You worked hard for years, achieved great results and now it's all yours and the task will be just to enjoy it. Enjoyable workouts, 
a good physique and receiving admiring looks and compliments from others. And here comes the point when you just have to maintain all these if you only work out 2-3 times a week and you're good. This is what I meant by the term lazy fit. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end and you will only work out a few times a week for the rest of your life. You might periodize your training according to your life situation. Personally, I do this. There are periods when I only train 2-3 times, do my skills, a few sets of one-arm pull-ups, handstand push-ups, weighted basics and I'm good with 2-3 hours a week. But there are times when I switch back to more frequent split training and refine things. As I mentioned, these three phases are just a general experience, especially among dedicated people who started to train properly. Of course, there are other examples like someone who starts to work out out of the blue without any guidance, gets injured after two weeks and quits. But if you start well and have good guidance, this process can easily come together into a success story. Remember, you might be satisfied with just the first phase, you might do all three, but you will never know unless you start. If you want to achieve your goals and follow the path I've mentioned using a proven system, click the link below, download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member and get access to all programs, tutorials, daily workouts and much more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more and now check out one of my previous videos on the end screen.